Hi Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome into your Valentine's Day interactive tarot reading, which means you get to choose what it is that you want to see. Um, how I'm going to be doing this reading for you guys this week, I'm going to be looking into the past love, looking into current love, and also looking into the future love for you single guys out there as well. Um, extended reading, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Check into the next couple of weeks with what is going to be occurring in all three scenarios. Um, remember that extended reading is up for, gab up for grabs. You guys won it last week. Congratulations. Um, uh, if you want to win it for the upcoming week, uh, hit the thumbs up button. Same thing. Uh, comment below. I'm adding all those up and the people who have the most likes is going to be the ones who win the extended for next week. Otherwise, guys, let's get into this reading. Um, Timestamps are below in the description box, so you can go straight to where it is you want to go. Current, past love, or future love. So let's get into it. Let's start off with past love energy. Let's have a look and see what is going on with you guys. Um, I've been fiddling with pet food, <laughs> so I hope my nails are not looking like you know what I mean? But I've been like fiddling. I've been feeding my pets. So yeah, I've got four cats, guys. I've got four cats. So let's have a look and see. Into past love energy. Let's see what is going on here for you guys. Let's have a look and see what is going on with the X situation during Mercury retrograde. Let's just bring that one up. Something definitely going on here. Um, something has begun again. Something has started moving because you've got the chariot card that has rocked up here. And the chariot card is in the upright position, which tells me something is happening very quickly. Something is moving once again in the right direction. And I feel like two people are very happy. Even in this, this specific deck, the chariot card, which is the, um, the psychic love tarot, um, the chariot card literally represents like a hand fasting situation. Um, well, 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 this is interesting. Let's have a look and see. Could you guys be the one that has the happy ending here in this in this reading? I'm just saying. Because a lot of the ex situations were not so happy to look into, you know. If I can get the cards to shuffle today, like let's see what's going to happen. Um, two cards just stuck out on the bottom so that they're going to stay. So let's see. They want it to be seen. And another two cards as well. Let's see if we're going to pick up on... As I have been picking up on in all the readings, two people's energy in most of them. So let's see what we've got here. Yeah, yeah. We've got an Ace of Voices, which is the Ace of Swords energy. And we've got a Hangman energy. We've got a Ten of Inspiration and a Magician energy. First of all, I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing here is literally two people that have had a tough time in the past. They have been through some things that hurt them and um, they want to leave it in the past. Somebody is still kind of seeing how things are going to unfold because you got the ace of voices, which is an amazing energy to come out, especially if this has got to do with an ex situation, a person that you were with and you're getting back together with again. I mean, the ace of voices energy, ace of swords is the card of triumph and victory and success. After having faced a lot of difficulties, you overcome those difficulties Wow, Pisces. Um, I even feel, honestly, I feel like these are two people's energies once again. Um, even though you guys have started a new beginning, you um trying again. I can say I feel like this feeling of you guys are trying again. You're moving in the right direction. I feel like it's either you or your person that is uh, still holding back a little bit, a part of themselves with a the hangman. It's almost like observing um, how things are unfolding. And... Um, uh, so for some reason, something froze on my computer. But anyway, this will be internet, you know. Um, so hangman muse energy is literally this energy of, I'm going to hang around and see how everything is going to unfold. Um, I want to observe and see the what's going to happen between me and this person. It's almost like you're trying to figure out how, thing, how, to, how things are going to be and also how to do things as well. Usually when it comes up, when you finally happy with what you've been seeing hanging there, um, it's usually positive. Um, it's always got to be positive. So if something negative can happen here, it, it, you wouldn't stay. You wouldn't stay. You'd have to move to a positive place. Woo. Okay. Um, I feel like this is another person's energy. By the way, this can be anybody's energy here. Um, somebody is, I feel like whoever came back into the other person, that's what I'm going to say. Whoever contacted whomever is this person's energy. That's how I feel it to be because of what I'm seeing here, which is the magician card that has like literally shown up in your guys' reading. The magician card is the manifestation energy, which is pretty good, you know. And the um, 
the Ten of Wands tells me what has been in the past because the Ten of Wands is right at the end of a, a cycle that was quite stressful. And with it coming up here like this, it's literally, um, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's literally saying uh, I've been, we've been stressed out, we've been having problems, but we want to release that now. We want to leave it in the past so that we can move into the future, which I like this energy. I have to say, I like this energy. Um, this is real focus here. It is real focus. Um, even though I feel like one of you guys is much more convinced everything's going to be fine, and the other one's kind of going, okay, uh, I, I, I'm convinced too, and yet I'm just going to be careful. You know what I mean? It's almost like half your heart is still trying to protect itself in case something can go wrong. But um, otherwise, from here, from this point of view, from the time frame that I'm reading it in now, asking about the energy that we're picking up on in this current energy now, it looks really, really good, guys. Let's have a look and see what spirit guides will want to say with regards to your reading. What will they want to say? What will they want to put in here? And in the extended, I'm going to be looking into next couple of weeks, when did you get back together with this person? That's what I want to ask as well. Because um, Mercury retrograde is a very funny thing, which we are in currently from the 30th of January up until the 20th of February. And it causes us to sometimes get back together with our exes. And then after the energy of Mercury going back into its right position in the movements um, and into how it's moving, uh, things can then adjust again and change again but if everything here looks so good it doesn't look like old problems popping up so let's see what this card is yeah they yeah uh uh you see i was just talking about mercury retrograde the worry here is is what's going to occur over the next couple of weeks because um somebody is holding back to see something and i think what if it's you that's kind of like still not sure how everything's going to unfold what is it that you're unsure about are you unsure about um does this person love me are you unsure about um are we going to ever be in a long-term stable relationship because that's what's coming up here the ace of pentacles in the reverse position somebody is unsure about that will it go to a place of stability the ace of pentacles is a new beginning this is a new beginning as well because you've got the ace of voices but the ace of voices is overcoming past problems and moving on with each other the ace of pentacles would be moving on to a place of stability this is in the reverse position um i honestly feel like that's why that hang news is there it's almost like okay we got the ace of voices but i need to see the ace of pentacles in the upright position not in the reverse position. And um, this is something I feel that is going to be unfolding over the next couple of weeks for you guys, where you literally going to be seeing, does the chariot energy still keep on the same road that you wanted to keep on going on? For now, the energy looks really good, but I can see what causes the hangman to be there now, because it's not enough that you just got back together. What you need to see is that is this going to go to a long-term stable relationship? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I actually think it's pretty normal to expect that. I mean, you know, time's ticking. We've got life here, you know. We can't be wasting months or years of our life on somebody who's never going to be stable. Um, but I can't say that's what's going to happen because your person's energy has also got wanting to leave any problems in the past in the past with the Ten of Wands. And they've also got the Magician energy, which is excellent. What is it that they want? That's your, that's your big question. If they want the Ace of Pentacles, like what you want, then you've got a good thing going. But I'm going to see in the extended reading how things are going to unfold over the next couple of weeks. Currently, right now, looking really good. Guys, hi, current energy. Current person, how are you? You're with somebody right now. You want to kind of like know what's going on. Get some advice from Spirit Guides. See their energy. See your energy. Let's get in here and have a look and see. Spirit Guides, what is going on with my Pisces and their current energy? I've been like mixing up the zodiac signs all day long. <laughs> and um, it's like um, I've been literally... Uh, saying Pisces, I've been saying Aquarius, I've been saying, oh, you know what I mean, just bear with me, it's one of those days, you know, um, so Pisces, hi, um, this is so interesting, uh, for some of you guys who were here in the X 
think this is actually you, Yana, as well. Because we've got the Ace of Voices, which is the Ace of Swords, and we've got the Ace of Swords again. Clarity of belief. For some of you guys, this is you that has gotten back together with an ex-person. If um you this is if you got kind of reunited with an ex and they're your now current person, then that is your reading. Okay. Um so this is obviously something a relationship that's been through a lot with the ace of swords like i said on this side here the ace of swords is a card of triumph there's a card that comes in after having been through a lot of difficult times when this comes up it shows that it's a card of victory it's a card of overcoming difficult things as well and uh, it's not easy to overcome because the ace of swords is one of the the cards that show yo we overcame a lot in our relationship and when it comes in there it's not like it was just like oh you're laying under a tree enjoying the day no you were working hard to fix things so let's go in here and get two people's energies out if that is what spirit guides would wants to show us and see what's going on here Yep, I'm not surprised to see the Hierophant energy, especially after what I was just saying. And let's have a look and see. Oh, um, ho, ho, ho. Explain to me, Spirit Guides, what is going on here. Um, we've got one person here who's got clarity of belief. One person. They've got the Hierophant energy, which is a card of wisdom. And the Hierophant is in the reverse position, which tells me that it's it's so determined it's it's you know the hierophant in the reverse position it's one of these energies where i can say it's the person who wakes up early does the things they need to do literally one of those go-getter kind of energies and the go-getter energy is focused on what is in this card the lovers card the couple whoever this is is determined is determined to make this relationship work. And I think it's this is it could be your energy here. Um like determined, determined, because the hierophant energy in the reverse position, it's wisdom beyond wisdom. You know what I mean? Determined to make this lovers work. No matter what difficulties you guys face with the clarity of belief, it's like I'm gonna make this work between me and this person. Your person is not sure. Your person's feeling out of control, um, either of the situation that you guys are in, or of themselves, or they don't feel in control of anything. The devil card in the reverse position, good thing, that would be great. Yeah, that would be great. Um, when it's in the reverse position, it tells me they're feeling out of control. They feel like the situation has gone beyond what they wanted to go, and um, they feel like they've lost maybe any say for some reason they're like they lost a say in they don't then they, they they let me tell you with this energy um it's so funny i almost feel like they if you if they've gotten a bit quiet as uh, because of this energy they feel like they they're pulling back um because they don't know what to do for some of you guys i literally told you that i felt like this is a person the ex-person that you got back together with or you guys have experienced some kind of breakup before that's why i said go check this reading it's almost like this is what happened to get you back into a relationship they've got the death card um that has come up in the reverse position that tells me there is some things here it is that renewal energy that i'm picking up on here and it's almost like some things that are going in the direction that they don't want it to go in and don't really like it and it's coming up here twice with the devil both the devil and the death energy which is a quite similar energy it's just talking about um the one is talking about the more change that is coming in the death card is talking about this change that is coming here but they don't really like almost everything that's happening with regards to the change and this is why the devil card comes up here it's almost like they're feeling out of control of a situation. They may be wondering, what do I do? Do Is this really what I want? Kind of vibe. Uh, let's get a card out here just to have a look and see. It's like one person so determined to make this work. It's like, no, we're going to be fine. The other person is not revealing maybe everything to you. They're not saying everything that they should be saying to you um, with regards to how they're really feeling or what they're really thinking. So let's have a look and see. It's almost like, did they, who got back together with who kind of vibe? You see what I mean? Yeah, you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful here. The card that comes up is one of the worst cards I, 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 do, I want to see. You've got a three of swords energy. You need to be very, very careful. Um, moving forward with, with them. I think, honestly... You need to start questioning them a little bit more about exactly 
what is it that they want and how exactly are they feeling because i feel like maybe you're talking a lot and saying we're going to do this we're going to fix this we're going to be together we're going to be abc and they're nodding yeah 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 but they're not feeling that and be careful that it doesn't something does not happen that causes you to get really really hurt here um I, I want to get out one more card. I want to get out one more card. Yeah, just ask for it, God. You better show us something here with regards to what's what's this person, what's up with them. Yeah, hermit in the reverse position. Again, this is the exact same energy as this death energy. Death energy talks about something that is happening, some change that has taken place, but you don't really like it. You don't really like it. The hermit energy... Like I said, if this person's not really communicating with you as you, they should be there in hermit energy. But the hermit energy is very stubborn, hey? And the hermit energy also does not like what is occurring. That's what makes them so stubborn. So you need to be very careful. Uh, it makes me worry to see the Three of Swords come up here for you guys. In fact, it makes me worry to see all this energy in their energy. It just makes me go, be careful. With your current person i mean i really hope that this is not your situation but if you picking up any kind of um behavior from them where they quiet or when you try to ask them are you okay and they go i'm fine you when somebody says i'm fine oh they're not fine okay um if you say to them so what do you think about our future no no it's good it's good it's good that is not an answer that is a, a deflection, okay? If you ask me, are you tired? Oh, no, I'm not tired. I'm tired, okay? It's like that. I mean, you know, if somebody asks you, what are your goals for the future? You, if you ask me what my goals are for the future, you better pull up a chair and head to have a seat and make some coffee because we're going to be talking about my goals for the future. If I ask you, how do you see your life being in five years from now? Let's let's get comfy because we're going to have a conversation about it because everybody's excited about their goals in the future. And if you ask this person, you know, how do you see us being in the future? And they go, ah, oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And they're not pulling up a chair and getting comfy and, you know, putting socks on and their feet up and making coffee and all those kinds of things. And they are not sharing their truth with you. Because let me tell you, ask somebody to talk about their future. They're going to talk about it. Even if it means talking to you and me, how are we going to do, what kind of life we're going to have, where we're going to live, where we're going to stay, where we're going to do, you know, all those things, what kind of furniture we want to have. And people are like that. And if this person is not doing that with you, be careful. Then this is this energy. You need to be careful. I don't want to see you guys with the three swords in your heart. Start paying a lot more attention and see what happens. Honestly, this is me. You know, when somebody kind of like gets odd with me, I get odd with them back. You know what I mean? I'm like a mirror, you see, like, you know, a reflection. So um, if somebody is being a bit weird, I totally pull back energy and I start observing them. Like I'm sort of like, okay, so if I don't tell you what we're going to do this, so if I don't say to you, okay, you know what, let's go somewhere to this weekend. And then they go, okay. And I'm going to so say, if I'm the only one doing the pushing, what if I stop doing the pushing, what's going to happen? That's when you see the truth. That's when you see the truth. When you stop doing anything and they don't start doing something, then you're seeing the truth being revealed. <sighs> current energy um i actually feel like saying i'm so sorry that this energy is coming up yeah i really you guys are my last reading i wanted it to be like a fairy tale reading but um this energy with the three of swords be careful it doesn't become a nightmare there we go guys if you want to check out extended a couple of weeks from now let's hope this hermit energy of these can be turned around we will see future love how are you guys doing thank you for coming into the reading you guys are single over valentine's day there you go single singles take yourself out uh do something nice for yourself buy yourself the thing you've been wanting to buy for so long uh pamper yourself uh, sleep all day in bed do whatever you want you know make that day for yourself go out go to the spa do whatever you want make it a special day for you let's see future love for you guys oh no way how you can't make up tarot here it's just this like whoa future love is the love guys <laughs> it is the lover's card yeah got somebody coming in the reverse position that means a lot of different things that 
means a lot of different things. Lovers card is always positive. Even the two of cups, there's always a positive energy, even if they're in the reverse position. The reverse position indicates different things. Like I said, it can indicate A, that you don't even know this person yet, but they there. Oh, they exist out there, but you haven't yet met them. It can also indicate two, um, when you meet them, they're not your type. And you kind of go, okay, is this the person I want to be with? Um, B, C, it's different. Uh, you guys are a different kind of couple. You can be same-sex uh, relationship, different cultures, different age groups, uh, different countries, different religions, all those kinds of things. That's what comes up for me when I see the lovers in the reverse position. So let's go deeper in for you guys and see if Spirit Guide will show us two people's energies. Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do. It just depends. It just depends what they want to show us because Spirit Guide can only... This card like spun... And spun. So I got it in this position. Let's have a look. Um, so it just depends what spirit guide, in fact, I think is allowed to show us, or to be honest. Some things they cannot. Wow. Wow. No, this one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that again. Like, you have um, a very interesting energy come up here. No wonder the lovers has come up here. You guys are. I just got the like goosebumps, um, like right down my back. Whew, guys, I think you guys have got something kind of major coming in. <sighs> Pisces, my goodness. Um, you're mirroring each other in every way. Uh, both of you have been through a lot already. Um, both of you have been through things that have hurt you in your past. Both of you, blessings to both of you. This is a wonderful thing for me to see as a tarot reader have done the work, you've done the healing, you've done the right things, you didn't take negative experiences and make more negative experiences, you took a negative experience that maybe both of you, both you guys have had this, um, you've taken negative things that have happened to you, heartbreak that has occurred, and instead of letting those negative things break you as a human being, you took it and gained wisdom from it, and you learned the lessons from it, and you let it go. Very nice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what brings in the lovers. Nothing else, just that. Because you're mirroring each other. You've got the Four of Swords energy, which tells me, been through a lot. This can be each, I feel like it's both of you. I feel like it's both of you. I'm going to speak as if it's one person, but I feel like both of you. Um, you've been through a lot. They've been through a lot. Um, had to go through the healing process. Nice, because I feel like both of you may not have been dating for a while. Both of you. And you did the healing on yourself. You had to recover from experiences that you had that was not fun. Huh. Their energy. But I feel like it's both of your energies because you're so mirroring. Six of Swords. You see where we're going here? We've got a Four of Swords, Six of Swords, literally the same kind of card. And it's saying, after all I've been through, I feel like a person speaking. After all I've been through, after all the pain that I've had, after never being able to find love or find somebody who cares about me, I had to walk away from a lot of things in my life. I had to walk away from people that hurt me, maybe beyond love even, even family. And I made that decision and I made that choice to step out of anything that's negative for me and go to a place of peace. That is actually beautiful, guys. I feel, like, I feel like it's their energy. Then this comes up here, which is crazy. You've got a seven of materials energy, and it's, I feel like it's in their energy, and it's like they're literally going, finally. Um, I've always wanted the stability of the seven of pentacles. I've been working on myself. I've been working on life. I've been working on everything. It's like I've been preparing a home for a family and I've been waiting for it to come in and it has arrived. Oh, guys, the last reading and you make me want to cry. <sighs> Goodness me. And here it comes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And what must I say? Here it comes. <sighs> guys, don't do this to Deborah now. Come on. The Ten of Materials energy, there it is. There is the love. There is the home that this person has been preparing and waiting for it to fill it with family. And there's the family around the tree of the Ten of Pentacles. This is ultimate success. This is a home. 
this is a family, this is marriage, this is commitment. No wonder the lover's card came up there. Like, oh my goodness, what must I say? You know what I mean? That is very beautiful, guys. You guys are totally mirroring each other. I don't know what you did in your life to break blockages and to heal the karma that you had, but you did it wonderfully. And because you did so well, you healed so many things. It's like the universe is answering your call and they just aligning you with somebody who totally understands who you are because they themselves have been there. Whoa, spirit guides, hello. All the readings this week, I'm like, cool. and Pisces, emotional as you guys are out there. Now you make me emotional too. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Whoa. Let's have a look and see what spirit guides have got to say. Yes. What? I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. They're like, just letting you know, Pisces, that love is coming. There's your page of cups energy. Somebody's coming into your world. They're going to offer you this cup of love. This is the courtship card. It is about to begin for you guys. Um, I'd say it's going to be in a, a few months, maybe two or three months. I feel like two or three months kind of energy. Not far, not far, not a year. No, not at all. Not a year. This is months. You're going to have this offer of love that's coming in. And it's it's beautiful. How are you guys twins? I'm just asking. It's like you, ooh. Mmm. Oh, could this be twin flames? I'm just asking because that was weird. Could this be twin flames coming in? <laughs> Possibly. For some of you guys, this is a twin flame energy. So, like really, um, they go in the three of cups in reverse position, showing that whatever you guys have been going through, um, with regards to other people, not each other. It's the process of you needed to go through. Because, you know, if twin flames do meet and they're successful, they need to have matured to a very high level of understanding. And I felt both of you guys literally have. And then they bring up the hangman card. They're like, it doesn't even matter if you guys are or you are not. All you need to know is you're going to be happy with each other. And that's what matters. Not a label at all. Whoa, that's so amazing. Guys, possibly, hey, sorry. I know they say don't label things, but, you know, I'm just saying. It just came out like that. And with the lover's card up there, I'm like, it's, that's what could be making it so different. Ooh, and Spirit Guy says, no, just accept that you guys must be happy. It's not about this person's my soulmate, they're my whatever, they're my twin flame. If you guys are happy, don't even ask questions. Just be in it. Be in that moment. But this is coming in for you. I feel like the end of 2021, it's going to be a very different vibe for you guys. Whoa, this is very beautiful. If you want to check out that extended reading, link in the description box below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you next week. Have an amazing Valentine's Day. I think next Valentine's Day, you will not be single. I'm just saying. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.